Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. If there is a problem with the turbocharger, there are always some performance-related problems that are going to show up. We're going to have a look at some of the top symptoms of a bad turbocharger. When you look at the construction of a turbocharger, it is an exhaust gas-driven boost device. It is there to increase the incoming air. So as you can see, exhaust gas will be exiting from the exhaust manifold and then it will spin the turbine wheel which is located in here and the turbine wheel is connected to the compressor wheel which is in here and then as the turbine wheel is spinning due to the exhaust so does the compressor wheel the compressor will pump air from the air cleaner side into the intake manifold this is the principle of operation here is a cutout view of a turbocharger indicating the internal parts Right here we have the turbine wheel. When the exhaust is pushing the turbine wheel, it is connected to the compressor wheel right here. Here we have the compressor. We have the compressor that is connected to the turbine wheel. So as the exhaust drives the turbine, and that will move the compressor wheel. And when the compressor wheel is spinning, when it is spinning at high speed, incoming air will be sucked from the air cleaner side. This is the air cleaner side and then it will be pumped into the intake manifold and it will exit this way. So this is how the turbocharger performs. So we have a compressor wheel on one side and we have a turbine wheel on the other side. Now the problem is when there is some defect inside the turbocharger that will decrease the overall performance. The number one indication of a bad comp turbocharger is power loss. So lack of the necessary boost will lead to power loss. Noticeable decrease in engine power is the number one indication of bad turbocharger. If there is a problem with the turbocharger, the boost will be reduced. So incoming air that is being pumped into the intake manifold will reduce and that will result in a consequential reduction in the engine power. So engine power reduction is a number one indication of bad turbocharger. The other indicator of a bad turbocharger is oil leak. Now, if there is an oil leak, that could be an indication of a turbocharger going bad. As you can see, there is an oil. Large flow of oil is there inside the turbocharger. Massive amount of oil will be supplied to the turbocharger. Then, after lubricating and cooling the turbocharger, it will return to the oil pan this way. So, that oil will be used to lubricate these bearings. As you can see, this is an oil passage. Oil will be supplied from the oil pump and that oil will lubricate these bearings. These bearings on either side, they need to get lubricated. So oil from the oil pump will be passing through this gallery and then it will come to these bearings. This bearing and this bearing, they are all lubricated by the incoming oil. And finally, the oil will seep into the oil pan through this passage. Now, if there is a problem with the turbocharger, this oil will start to leak out. So if you start observing oil leaks on the turbocharger or in the vicinity of a turbocharger, that is another indication of a turbocharger going bad. So the second indication of bad turbocharger is oil leak. The other indication of a bad turbocharger is when there is a decrease in fuel efficiency. If the fuel efficiency of the vehicle reduces, which means if the fuel consumption of the car increases in order to cover a predetermined distance, that is an indication of bad turbocharger. If there is excess air supplied to the turbocharger, the engine will burn almost complete combustion will take place inside the cylinder due to excessive air. But if the turbocharger is defective and there is deficiency of air, that will cause in decreased fuel efficiency and the engine has to work hard in order to compensate for the lack of boost. That will lead to reduced fuel efficiency. So lack of fuel efficiency is another indicator of bad turbocharger. A sluggish acceleration or lack of acceleration can also indicate there is a problem with the turbocharger. So if the turbocharger is being defective, that can lead to sluggish acceleration. When you depress the accelerator pedal, the vehicle will not be responsive enough. That is an indication of a damaged or reduced turbocharger performance. Increased turbo lag is another indication of bad turbocharger. Now when you depress the accelerator pedal, there is some lag between you requiring acceleration and turbocharger response. That is called turbo lag. Now, if there is a turbocharger problem, that turbo lag will increase, which means 
You have depressed accelerator pedal, requesting an increase in pressure and increase in engine acceleration. But due to late response from the turbocharger, due to some internal problem, the turbocharger response will be slow. That will increase the turbo lag. So increased turbo lag is another indicator of damaged or bad turbocharger. Excessive smoke coming out of the engine is another indication of bad turbocharger. Now, there are oil seals that prevent oil from going into the exhaust, and there are also oil seals preventing oil from going into the intake. Now, if there is a problem on the seals, oil will start coming out through the exhaust. That will increase smoke from the engine. And also, if there is an oil leak into the compressor side, oil will be admitted into the intake, and that will burn, and that will cause bluish smoke coming out of the exhaust. So, if there is an increased exhaust smoke, that could be an indication of bad turbocharger. Inconsistent boost is another indication. If there are boost pressure issues, if there are inconsistent or fluctuating boost pressure, that is also an indication of a damaged turbocharger. If there is a problem with the turbocharger, it will not consistently boost the incoming air. That will cause inconsistent boost, especially if there is an indicator indicating Boost pressure. Boost pressure can be measured by tapping into this line. This is the line that is taking boost pressure from the compressor side, from the compressor housing side, to the Westgate valve right there. So if you somehow tap into here and measure the boost, if there is an inconsistent boost pressure, that is also an indication of bad turbocharger or turbocharger going bad. And the other problem is if there is noise coming out of the turbocharger. Now, when the turbocharger is spinning at high speed, there are some friction parts that are taking place, and if there is excessive wear in these parts, that will become noisy. So, if you hear a loud whining or grinding noise coming out of the turbocharger, that could be an indication of a damaged internal part. So, loud whining or grinding noise can be an indication of bad turbocharger. That is an indication of worn out bearing. If these bearings are damaged, that will be noisy. It could be an indication of a worn out internal component. And on some engines, reduction in pressure and reduction in boost pressure and reduction in engine performance can trigger a check engine light. So if there is a check engine light displayed on the dashboard on some diesel engines, that can also be an indication of damaged or bad turbocharger. And in some cases, in very rare cases, engine overheating can be associated to turbocharger problem. If the turbocharger is not feeding the engine with the required amount of air, the engine has to work harder in order to overcome the loads that are imposed on the engine, and that will result in engine overheating. So in rare cases, engine overheating can also be an indication of bad turbocharger. So dear viewers, these are some of the top symptoms of a bad turbocharger. The number one cause of uh, turbocharger failure is lack of lubrication. As we have mentioned air earlier, there is large amount of oil coming into the turbocharger. All the bearings and the turbocharger internal parts, especially the spinning shaft and the components, they need to get lubricated, and that lubrication has to be very sufficient. If there is insufficient oil, that is leading to turbocharger overheating and turbocharger wear, wear will be accelerated due to lack of oil. So that is the number one cause of a bad turbocharger. So these are some of the things that can lead to turbocharger problems. So dear viewers, that is all we have for you in this video regarding the symptoms and indications of a bad turbocharger. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and turn on notifications so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.